Good morning, everyone. Before I begin my remarks, I want to acknowledge everyone who is joining us today. Commissioner Alma Naya of the 2nd, 7th District, Commissioner Brandon Johnson of the 1st District, Next Streets, Sharice Conanen Johnson, uh, CFA Managing Partner, Aztec Dave's Food Truck Owner, Ramon Torres, the Book Joint Owner, Verlene Singletary, Bureau Chief of Economic Development, Soshi Flores, and our sign language team, David Jones. All right. More than 50 years ago, the U.S. Small Business Administration started celebrating National Small Business Week, recognizing the vital contributions of Americans' small business owners and entrepreneurs. Considering the past year, this recognition is especially important because of the unprecedented challenges many of our businesses and residents are facing. And it further underscores the work being done through our network of business service organizations to provide essential supports such as webinars, one-on-one -on -one advising, grant application assistance, and educational resources, all to support recovery. When we received CARES Act funding last year, we began offering $10,000 grants and resources and services to businesses with fewer than 20 employees that could demonstrate revenue loss as a result of the pandemic. We're able to invest $29 million to support small businesses impacted by the pandemic. With more than 35 partners led by our program administrator, Next Street, we have provided technical assistance to more than 4,000, more than 4,000 small businesses and almost $17 million in grants to nearly 2,000 small business owners, such as Mar Ramon Torres, who immediately mobilized to provide over 2,500 meals a week during the onset of the pandemic, and Berlin Sing Singletary, who prior to the pandemic would host literary activities to expose communities of color to poetry readings, story time, and various arts that promote reading. Small Business Week is about acknowledging and supporting our employers who create jobs and strengthen our, our communities. We're proud of the work of our partners, funders, and recipients who've put together a thriving small business network. Today we celebrate and acknowledge the small businesses that are the backbone of our communities and job creation. The small businesses represented here today are an excellent example of the time and dedication our small businesses make to each of our communities, allowing them to thrive. So I encourage you to stop by your local or virtual bookstore, favorite restaurant or food truck, saloon, salon, <laughs> or local storefront in celebration of Small Business Week. Today and every time, you are able to do so. Thank you. Now, we're going to hear next from uh, Commissioner Anaya. Thank you, Madam President. Um, and I, I first want to start off by, again, commending the work from uh, the offices uh, under the President, right, uh, Bureau of Economic Development, and also Madam President for uh, her due diligence in ensuring great leadership at the county during these very difficult times. Um, you know, uh, during, during COVID, just like it's been previously highlighted by the President, a lot of our businesses have suffered. Um, and we say oftentimes that our masks and getting vaccinated save lives. But the grants and the programs save businesses. They save families. They save and keep uh, houses going and households and food on the table. Our businesses are the backbone of our society. Uh, and I'm quite excited to be here celebrating Small Business Week um, as we highlight the different businesses, not only that, that are recipients of the different grants that we, we have been able to provide, but that are active members of our community as well. I'm extremely proud of, of Ramon here, um, who is uh, from my district, and you know, just highlighted you know, to over 2,500 meals a week. But he just told me it was over 20,000 meals in total uh, from a few months, right? Uh, this is the type of work 
that we look f- forward and that is contributed by our small businesses. This is the type of role that they play in our communities. And it's extremely important that we provide the backbone and the support that the businesses need. So just like the president said, it's extremely important that we also step up. We know that our businesses suffered, especially our restaurants and our and our, and our uh, food uh, trucks, et cetera, during the pandemic. And we need to make sure that we now give back as well to our businesses that have suffered. Many that brought resiliency during COVID, that were you, be, went above and beyond even with the, the different um, issues that they were having, uh, th- that they helped their community out. So I'm here um, it, quite excited to, to be here um, to celebrate uh, the businesses that with their resiliency you know, overcame the pandemic, and we're here to continue to support them throughout these uh, uh, times. Um, Rápidamente en español, um, primeramente me llamo Almanaya, soy la comisionada del séptimo distrito del condado de Cook. Uh, Yo represento a una área uh, que tiene muchos, uh, muchos negocios pequeños. Represento a la Villita, que tiene la 26. Represento a, a vecindarios como Pilsen, vecindarios como Brighton Park y otros vecindarios que tienen muchos uh, negocios. Y durante la pandemia han sufrido mucho. Se han visto que muchos de estos lugares han tenido que cerrar. Pero hoy estamos aquí junto a la presidenta Tony Parkwinkle y a su equipo para celebrar uh, el, el, la semana de, de negocios pequeños. Porque esto uh, fue eh, fundido hace más de 50 años a, a nacio, nacionalmente. Y en este momento sabemos que tenemos que hacer un poco más p- para nuestros negocios que han sufrido tanto durante este, este tiempo. Se dice mucho que las mascarillas y las vacunas salvan vidas, pero estos tipos de programas que han hecho el condado, la ciudad, igual también el estado y nacionalmente, salvan negocios, salvan a las familias que dependen de esos negocios y continúan de, teniendo um, comida en la, en la casa y asegurándose que uh, esto no les impacte, ¿verdad?, o que se queden desalojados de su casa. Entonces, es sumamente, sumamente importante que apoyemos a nuestros negocios. Hoy aquí tenemos un negocio de, de, de mi um, distrito, uh, Aztec Daves. Aquí está Ramón Torres con nosotros, que ayudó a proveer más de 20 mil uh, diferentes um, comidas durante la pandemia. Estamos sumamente orgullosos de no nomás apoyarlo durante la pandemia y específicamente por, por el buen trabajo que ha hecho, sino después de la pandemia. Ya que vamos a, a, a recuperarnos de esto juntos, es sumamente importante que apoyemos a estos negocios. So, muchísimas gracias uh, y continúen uh, apoyando a los negocios. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, Commissioner Anaya, for your leadership. Glad to be joined by one of my most dynamic colleagues. Um, thank you, Madam President, uh, for your leadership. Um, I don't think it's stated enough. Uh, your poise over the last year has been absolutely remarkable. And given how difficult and unprecedented these times have been, um, having your leadership, Madam President, has been um, its been not only necessary, uh, but obviously critical. So she, thank you for your leadership and commitment in this moment. I'm happy to celebrate um, Small Business Week um, throughout Cook County. The small businesses, as has been stated already, um, have been there for us and for our communities, um, not only throughout this pandemic, but Um, throughout existence, and it's critical that we're there for them. I'm very happy and pleased that there were a a number of small businesses that were able to benefit from that grant, and Christian Harris being one of those businesses in particular, and Oak Park, who provided a cleaning service for homes and other businesses, uh, was able to keep his business afloat as a result of the work. Uh, The last thing that I'll say is I'll just encourage folks, uh, as has been stated, um, to get out and support the small businesses. Um, it just comes down to that. Um, I know there's some jokes that are going on on social media about COVID weight, uh, and uh, I'm one of those individuals that uh, didn't get around and didn't move as much as I probably should have. Uh, so we want you to get out and some more support the small businesses and go out and get some good food, and then make sure you spend some time in the forest preserves walking off some of those extra calories. So, And now that 
hopefully Chicago is well on its way to a winning program. We're calling on Justin Fields to come and walk throughout Cook County, too, and take that new contract to support some of these small businesses. So God bless you all and continue to support the work that small businesses are doing throughout Cook County. Thank you. Thank you so much to President Prankwinkle and Commissioners Anaya and Johnson and for the Bureau for your support of the Cook County COVID-19 Recovery Small Business Assistance Program and for having me here today. And a special thanks to the two incredible business owners that will come next for sharing your story and for serving as an inspiration to the many business owners out there trying to build livelihood and wealth for their families, provide jobs in their communities, and serve Cook County residents during this unprecedented time. You are the reason we are here today and the reason we created this program. My name is Sharice Quinana Johnson and I am a managing partner at Next Street and we're working to create a more inclusive economy by empowering small businesses that face disproportionate barriers. We at Next Street serve as the program coordinators for this program, as President Preckwickle mentioned, working with those 35 local organizations throughout the county to serve small businesses. And this collective program and tireless partners have distributed that 17 million in small business grant funding. And we are continuing, it goes on, to serve thousands of businesses with coaching services to support business recovery, access to the Paycheck Protection Program and other stimulus funding, and setting up small businesses to be stronger post-COVID than they were before. It is important to note that this work also builds on prior national best practices and now serves as an exemplary model across the country for the collaboration that we have enacted together. That's what this Cook County program represents, an opportunity to be better together. And, and now that it's Small Business Week, we all have the opportunity to support the small businesses in our neighborhoods, buy from them, invest in them, amplify their voices. Let's be better together, and I hope you will join us. Thanks so much. Hello, I'm Ramon Torres, owner of Aztec Dave's Food Truck Incorporated. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Cook County and the offices and uh, commissioners involved. Thanks for having me here. Um, I'd also like to thank the LA's for community business, for uh, the outreach and the resources that were available to our small businesses. Um, the grant really helped us uh, stay afloat. With that, we were able to donate 20,000 meals to across 17 different hospitals in the Chicagoland area. Uh, I mean, we're all about our community. We want to remain a tight-knit community uh, with everyone involved. Uh, I know it's been a difficult time throughout the pandemic since last year, continuing on to this year. And uh, we just want to remain uh, a, a solid staple in our community, and we're here to help everyone in our position. Um, just reflecting back uh, last year, our, our entire business was turned upside down. Uh, it was a point of uncertainty, and we needed uh, some resources to, to use and to, to gain momentum. And this grant really helped us uh, pay our bills, pay our employees to keep this project going and to last from April to June is an understatement. I mean, we worked so hard to feed so many needy people, and we got national recognition for it. Um, so we really thank all parties involved, and we want to continue this uh, community aspect uh, while remaining safe and being a big staple in the community. And with that, we were able to grow uh, our business. Uh, we're opening up a new location in Humble Park, our first brick and mortar. So it starts with quality and service and safety. Uh, and we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that. So we really thank everybody. Thank you. Um, good morning. My name, is, <clears throat> my name is Verlene Singletary, and I'm the owner of The Book Joint. So I want to first off thank everyone, thank Cook County, thank um, all of the, pro the program that 
gave us this grant, the Women's Business Development Center, because that's who we worked through when we received the grant. The book joint, we were um, established May of 2007 because it was always in my spirit to have a bookstore for people like us with authors like us, just so we could see that we were out there. Um, when we sat and we thought about our business and what was our um, niche, we found that us hosting live book events, developing them, presenting, and hosting to bring the authors and other people to the community, that was what we were good at. So, of course, last year at this time, when the entire world shut down, we were kind of at a loss, like, what are we going to do? So this forced us to take a hard pivot, take a look at our business, and see what we could do. So with this grant, we were able to get our um, website developed, get it optimized, up to par, user-friendly, and it also allowed us to keep current with our inventory and just start developing ways to do virtual um, events. Now I'm going to tell you, this was a learning um, lesson for me because... I was not good at social media, so they had to drag me kicking and screaming, and it was just really, it was a learning point for me. But now as things are happening, we are starting to um, get, I guess, get with the times, and um, this grant allowed us to do that. Um, the WBDC, they were such a great help because um, I had my one-on-one -on -one session, which was a part of the program, and it was extremely beneficial. I found out about um, being able to certify my business as a minority-owned business and a woman-owned business, something I had kind of heard about, but I really didn't know a lot about, so they're helping me through that step. And then also, they have all kind of programs that they help with. Um, they help small businesses. They help guide us through this pandemic. So the pandemic is not a great thing. Um, I'm glad that we're starting to kind of see our way through. But I'm also glad for all of the um, help that we had through the way. And again, I want to thank the county and thank all of the um, programs that helped us out. And if you do want to shop and support us with Small Business Week, the website is um, www.dabookjoint.com. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And thank you, Verlene and Ramon, for sharing your stories. Um, it is stories like theirs that kept us going this past year. Um, my team has been working nonstop within the Bureau of Economic Development, but oftentimes we would hear from businesses that were struggling, trying to figure out how they make ends meet, how they survive, and I knew that that was what our team needed to hear in order to keep them going. Um, but all of this would not have been possible without the leadership of President Preckwinkle and this board. Um, the president's leadership in particular has really made a tremendous difference in our communities. And today is just another moment that is underscoring how her dedication and commitment to our efforts are helping us to continue to move forward and helping our businesses thrive during this time. I want to thank Commissioner Johnson and Commissioner Naya for joining us today, but also for being strong supporters over this past year and making sure that small businesses get information that's needed about resources that we have made available. A year ago, our world was devastated by the pandemic, and we lost so many opportunities and events that allowed us to support our small businesses in our communities. This morning, we gather to continue to continue to support our businesses. These are the individuals that are so resilient, so creative, and are the fabric of our communities. Today is special because it marks a milestone for growth and resilience for business owners like Ramon and Verlene that are here with us today. When the Bureau of Economic Development launched our Small Business Assistance Program, we wanted to create a robust offering that would provide comprehensive business advising and grants. And that's what really made us unique. It was not just about providing a funding support, which was very, very much needed, but it was being a partner with these businesses 
providing that one-on-one -on -one technical assistance, rolling up our sleeves and being there alongside their adventure. And we quickly mobilized local partners, um, national partners, to provide us um, assistance in these efforts. In particular, I want to acknowledge Sharice Johnson and the team at Next Street for overseeing the Small Business Assistance Program and the network of over 35 business service organizations that continue to provide technical assistance, they continue to host many webinars, and they are still rolling up their sleeves and working one-on-one -on -one with business owners and helping them to navigate the variety of relief programs that are still available. Our business service organizations are dedicated to our businesses, and they are dedicated to our communities. They are providing that personal touch. They are knocking on doors to talk to the businesses, and they want to provide that stability that is very much needed during these times. This week, we celebrate the contributions of our small businesses, from our local grocery stores to our salons and our saloons, <laughs> coffee shops and restaurants. These small businesses are the backbone of our communities. They play a vital role in stimulating our economic growth and creating jobs for local individuals. So this week, please join me in supporting our small businesses we want to thank them for continuing to be resilient and creative. We want to make sure that these entrepreneurs and business owners continue to pivot, to survive, and to thrive during these times. Thank you very much.